B-17 Flying Fortress, Man of Wars II, Horsepower Limited, US Air Force Serial Number 4238083. It was a B-17 of the 91st Bomb Group. This B-17 was shot down by enemy aircraft on November 2nd, 1944. The target was oil refinery at Mörderburg, Germany. The B-17 was piloted by 1st Lieutenant Leroy B. Hare and his crew. Witness statement by Technical Sergeant Maurice D. Shirk in the missing air crew report number 10144 states the following. We were flying at approximately 27,500 feet altitude, about 5 minutes after bombs away, when we were attacked by about 40 to 50 enemy fighters. Aircraft 4238083 was hit in the trailing edge of the right wing and the empennage. Fragments came off of the wing and the tail and as they came off the aircraft turned over on its side. There was fire in the right wing. At this point I lost sight of subject aircraft. No parachutes were seen to come from this ship. Next is Staff Sergeant Russell L. Wagner's account in the same missing air crew report. We were flying at approximately 27,500 feet altitude, about five minutes after bombs away when we were attacked by about 40 to 50 enemy fighters. Aircraft 4-2. 38083 was hit in the trailing edge of the right wing and the empennage. Fragments came off of the wing and the tail, and as they came off the aircraft turned over on its side. It then fell back behind the formation. About ten enemy fighters kept making attacks on subject aircraft. The ship then peeled off to the left and remained behind the formation for approximately five minutes, during which time some of the crew could have bailed out. However, I saw no one bail out or parachutes open. The co-pilot, 2nd Lieutenant Robert P. Casey, was interrogated after the war when he returned to the United States. His account reads following. I was co-pilot on this mission. Approximately 12.30 hours, 2nd of November 1944, after completing our bombing run over the target Merseburg, Germany, our B-17 aircraft, which was assigned to 91st Bomb Group, 322nd Bomb Squadron, was attacked by enemy fighter aircraft. Fire occurred in the bomb bay section. The communication system was shot out and the plane went over on its back and started into a spin. At an altitude of approximately 28,000 feet, the pilot hit the alarm bell. I experienced considerable difficulty in getting out of the nose hatch because the plane was in a spin. I landed in a small town. The name of it I do not recall, approximately 25 miles northwest of Merseburg. The pilot, 1st Lieutenant Leroy Hare, the bombardier, 2nd Lieutenant Roy R. Cook, and the navigator, Lieutenant Ted P. Herrick, also landed safely. All of the officers landed safely. The five enlisted men were killed. The B-17 crashed in a field close to the village Gnitsch, Germany, at 12.50 hours. The village is approximately 10 km southeast of Köthen, 20 km south southwest of Dessau, the town I'm living. The bodies of the Paris crew members were buried in the cemetery of Gnitsch on November 3rd. I was invited to the memorial ceremony on November 14th, 2021 by German historians, who located the exact crash site of the B-17, and they put a memorial plate in the church with the names of the crew members. A colonel of the US Air Force also took part of this event. Man of War II crashed in the field just behind the rays of flowers and American flags. It was the first time ever that I was near a crash site of a B-17. Finally, some more information about this B-17. Man of War II was delivered to Cheyenne on December 6th, 1943 and assigned to the 322nd Bomb Squadron, 91st Bomb Group, on January 2nd, 1944. The B-17 flew 77 combat missions. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos about the B-17 Flying Fortress and combat reports.